Throughout American history, more than one million military service members have fallen on the field of battle defending our nation. The brave men and women who have sworn to support and defend the Constitution of the United States sacrifice much to protect the country from enemies, both foreign and domestic. Their commitment has been an integral part of building the nation since the American Revolution in 1775. I enlisted uh, the Marine Corps OCS in uh, January of 1966 and served in Vietnam uh, in November, early December of 1967 and was blinded as a uh, result of uh, a landmine explosion. I joined the Army in 1989. Uh, I wanted to serve my country and pay for school. And once I got into the military, I realized that I actually enjoyed it and wanted to do it for a living. Uh, got four combat tours overseas uh, in the first Gulf War. Afghanistan in 02, Iraq in 03, and Iraq again in 05. Uh, and that's where I was hurt in 05. But for many, the decision to serve the nation comes with a high cost. For instance, every year, more than 6,000 veterans from past and present wars become blind or visually impaired, mainly because of age-related illness or injury. Presently, there are more than 165,000 veterans who have lost their sight in and out of combat situations. I was injured uh, in Baghdad on July 7, 2005 by an IED. The projectile came through the window of my vehicle and hit me in it. I woke up a month later in Walter Reed, Army Medical Center, uh, unable, to, unable to see. And uh, it took me a few days to uh, come to terms with that and accept that, but ever since then I've been trying to recover and drive on. 1945, the Battle of the Bulge, the ambulance, I was walking in back of an ambulance that hit a landmine. I was hit with shrapnel, and uh, mostly in the face. Now I lost the left eye and damaged the right eye. And uh, I've really completely changed your life after that. World War II and Korean War veterans are facing diseases like macular degeneration, diabetic retinopathy, and glaucoma. There is also a new wave of visually impaired veterans suffering from the effects of diabetes linked to Agent Orange. In addition to the hundreds of military service personnel recently blinded during service in Iraq and Afghanistan. See, the main thing about being blind is adjustment, I think, because you automatically, be, you know, with normal eyesight, you automatically walk the streets, you, uh, you know, were eating and talking to people, you knew they were there, and. You never even gave it a second thought. You can't do the things you'd always done for yourself before. You feel like you've kind of lost control of your life. Just having to rely on others um, in situations that normally you wouldn't have had to do is, is a very difficult thing to adjust to, to accept, and, and to deal with going forward. Losing sight is a traumatic experience, and it is one that many veterans face alone. But blindness does not have to mean the end of an active life and career for any veteran. But more than half of the blinded veterans living in the United States today do not know they are eligible for special services and benefits that will help them meet the challenges of being blind. It takes quite a bit of time to gain confidence uh, in your ability to, uh, to uh, move around on your own. Uh, but with cane training and uh, I attended blind rehabilitation. I gained a lot of independence and now I move around quite well uh, independently. The Department of Veterans Affairs um, has a wide array of services for visually impaired and blinded veterans that are really life altering. So you learn very quickly that there are ways of doing things that you'd always done with vision. Employment was realistic. I could resume my place within the family and, and within the community and uh, assume or reassume many of the same responsibilities and roles that I'd, I'd had prior to my loss of vision. Chartered by the U.S. Congress in 1958, the Blinded Veterans Association has continuously been a strong voice for the nation's blinded veterans. The BVA is proud to take responsibility in assisting blinded veterans and their families in returning to their rightful place in the community by providing them useful information and practical help. The Blinded Veterans Association was uh, founded by approximately 100 war blinded veterans from World War II. Uh, they believed that there should be an organization of blinded veterans uh, assisting other blinded veterans. 
That's been our mission. Um, that's the essence of what BBA is all about. Uh, blinded veterans providing assistance, support, encouragement to uh, newly blinded veterans. The Blinded Veterans Association was established specifically to promote the welfare of blinded veterans by providing answers and resources to help them deal with the discouragement and frustration they often face. By working closely with the Department of Veterans Affairs, BVA assures that all blinded veterans have access to excellent blind rehabilitation training, technology, and counseling. The BVA has field representatives that live and work in seven regions across the country, providing inspiration, encouragement, and guidance through the entire benefit claims process. Because they themselves are blinded veterans who have been through similar experiences, they understand the complexities and emotions behind the process. BVA field reps are effective role models in helping newly blinded veterans through the vital first steps in adjusting to blindness, bringing focus and direction to their lives. Field representatives play a critical part of being able to provide information to blinded veterans on what benefits they're entitled to, whether it's for educational benefits, adaptive housing, whether it's for finding state or other federal resources that may be able to help them in their recovery and in their dealing with their blindness. If you or someone you know is a blind or visually impaired veteran, call 1-800-669-7079 or write to Blinded Veterans Association, 477 H Street Northwest, Washington, D.C., 20001. For more information, please visit bva.org, the Blinded Veterans Association, helping veterans and their families meet the challenges of blindness.